it is last time we got the new S3. The, the ECU was out in within five minutes, so. Yeah, What's well, wrong? I want to know who's, who's buying tea tonight. Who's buying tea? Late. It's obviously Mark, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> what else are we doing? Now we get sexy. Welcome back to another video. In the last video, you remember we were, which was this morning, you'll remember we were uh, bringing the RS3 uh, back over for Tabby to get some work on. Well, I went upstairs for 10 minutes and take a look. He always does this to me. It was the last time we got the new S3. The, the ECU was out in within five minutes. So first one we're doing is we're fitting a new MSS height adjustable spring kit. So thank you very much to MSS for sending us up. We're gonna test this and hopefully get the car and do a little bit of track work when we're out down at Castle Coom. So that'll be the first thing. So we are busy getting on with the suspension now. We have also, as you can see, just taken the stock exhaust off and we're fitting the Miltec um, race performance exhaust. Right, now Mark's gone and I'm holding this mic up to my face because no one can see me. Should we get technical and talk about the springs because Mark just mentioned MSS. Yes, so let's... MSS. Well, no, it's going on. MSS are not a new brand, but they're going to be uh, new brands that are awesome. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to get some testing in on the car. These particular springs, you know, they are a coil spring, but they are adjustable. Um, so you can change, obviously, the, the heights, each corners, um, you know, get the car set up better than you could with, you know, maybe not as good as a coil over, but, but you know, not just like a conventional coil spring. So um, we'll get that all set up for track and we'll, uh, we'll put them to the test at Castle Coombe and then hopefully you'll see them uh, coming to the awesome website. Yeah, well, well, I want to know who's, who's buying tea tonight. Who's buying tea? Like... It's obviously Mark, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> We get sexy. I've never fitted a set of white wheels before, but this I think is going to make the car. Unfortunately, it will cover, so you won't see these lovely ceramics, but hey, they won't get dusty, that's for sure. So, we've got a set of OZ wheels going on. We've got to get some spacers, some new wheel bolts. We've got to make sure these fit. Tabby, tires to go on. Yep. You've ordered tyres. You're going to check this up and see if we need wheel spacers. I think we will need wheel spacers on the front. I think we'll space the front anyway so it's got its natural. Yeah. Because um, the offset's different to, to the wheels that are on it. And so, <laughs> there you go. Take a look. Yeah. Let's get on and we'll. we'll uh, we're doing it all in one night. We're doing it all in one night. Well, we are. We're staying late tonight to try and get all this done. The hardware. Forge are sending us up an intercooler, which is already, they have sent us an intercooler, which is already here. What's that? What? Something sort of about scanning. What else are we doing? Uh, so, yeah, the car's getting 3D scanned for intake fitment tomorrow. By who? Uh, the company's actually based in Manchester. I don't know. But it's the uh, API that have uh, instructed the scanning to be done. So uh, hopefully we will have a right hand drive intake elbow that fits and works here uh, in the UK and obviously all the other right hand drive countries. Again, ECU's not, again, I don't even mention that, ECU's not cracked on this one, so uh, 
again, again. <laughs> uh, you know, we're going to go down the route of the PCM box on this one, uh, get a bit more power out of it, uh, and probably test the new dyno out. So, look forward to that. Yeah, look at that. He said where the middle was, didn't he? <laughs> Ryan said where the middle was. So, uh, the springs are on. Uh, we're just about to install the rear VBT upgrade. Um, as you, I think we've probably mentioned before in, in videos before, but you literally, you've got this fancy carbon ceramic front brake disc, and that's literally it. That's all you get, the fronts. Uh, then you move it to the rear, and you've just got really small plain disc on the rear. Uh, so obviously VBT do a kit, we can run a larger disc. Um, we can also match the pattern to the carbon ceramics on the front. So aesthetically it looks loads better. Uh, even though I think the wheel we've gone for, you're not gonna see much of it anyway, but we're gonna do it anyway. As well as that, it'll, it, it does actually, the braking balance is quite nice on it as well. So yeah, but you're not gonna see it under that wheel. So currently I'm just about to uh, wind the electronic brake caliper back. With it being such a brand new car, you'd probably, normally you'd get away with, you know, swapping them without really winding it back because they've not sort of moved in enough, if that makes sense. But because once they've sort of rested for a certain period on the ramp, you'll hear the handbrake go on. So if you get halfway through trying to fit it and it jams the handbrake on you, you know, you're in a bit of trouble. So always make sure you wind the caliper back and put it into service mode. Uh, and then we can safely work on the brakes. All the hardware is fitted, um, the car is wrapped looking really nice, sat on the springs and the wheels. I don't know if you saw in the video we went for obviously the racing line stud and nut kit on this. Obviously we went for like a rally sort of old school rally spec wheel so obviously naturally the stud and nut kits support that. We went with 20 mil front spacer on them to try and make the front look a bit wider uh, because these vehicles naturally have uh, an offset sort of wheel different size normally but this is now sort of fixed same sort of size tire on the 
front that is now on the rear rather than having the two different sizes on there. So what we've had to do is space that front out just so it, it sits nicely in the wheel arch. But yeah, that's it. Complete project for celebration of, I guess, 34 years of awesome, as you can see on the wrap. Much, much more to come from this car. Obviously, this is in early stage of development. Thing is with this car, a lot of the hardware side of it is kind of done very little stuff to do with with the hardware development side because the engine is obviously the same as the one in the previous sort of facelifted rs3 the dnwa engine so this is just dnwc so the actual physical engine turbo and everything is exactly the same it's just the management system that's different but obviously we've got this car for software development i'm going to test out the pcm box from racing line uh, and then hopefully sooner rather than later we're going to see some ecu tunes for it tcu tunes for it and then we can start making some serious power probably drop in a turbo on there and go from there I guess uh, yeah so we did do which we didn't see in the video is the forge intercooler we fitted the forge intercooler but we did that in calibration with forge uh, collaboration calibration <laughs> I just need to think an ECU tuning, that's... Uh, yeah, we did that in collaboration with Forge. You're going to put the links in the description. Yeah. Harris will put the links in the description to the Forge video of uh, that all getting set up. Check that out, that'll be in the description. Uh, and obviously like, share, subscribe, and thanks for continuing to support our YouTube channel. Got a bit of fish tailing then, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs>